One, two, it's garbage songs. Oh, it's garbage songs. Ooh, it's garbage songs. You kick it off and help out with the words, and we'll make the worst songs that you've ever heard. It's garbage songs. One more time. It's garbage songs. Thanks for coming to Garbage Songs. Let's make the worst songs that we've ever thought of, that Welcome. ever existed. You might think there are bad songs on the Billboard Top 100, but guess what? We're going to make them even worse. And thanks for your patience. We're about 1.5 minutes late or something like that. Yeah, that's pretty good so, for we, a live stream. Yeah, you know, you're I, important people. I, value your time. I think in the world of live streaming, that's actually early. It would be considered rude by most live streamers to start exactly at 3 p.m. We should. I think the perfect time to start would be... Three to four minutes late. Oh, to, to allow people to get there. You know, I, I don't know about you guys where you live, but in New York City, nothing would ever start on time. Like, if you go to a show and they start on time, that would just be weird. You know, you expect them to sh- start like an hour late or something. But who knows? Maybe there in Denmark, you got to be very punctual and it's a different culture. There's a movie theater in my neighborhood that always starts the movies exactly when it says. And you always know the people that it's their first time seeing a movie there because they're slinking into the movie like 20 minutes late, which would be the perfect time. At a normal movie theater. How embarrassing. And people look at them like really mean. Uh, but by Michael, the way, I'm, I'm looking at comments here. If you guys see me like staring at my phone, I promise I'm not like texting my grandma or reading something on Twitter. Yeah, we well, could I, be. But... Well, I could be. But, but I'm telling you, I'm reading your comments so that we could take your suggestions or any comments about what's been going on in the world of Schmo or your world. Mm-hmm. But Michael, what is garbage song? What is it? So Garbage Songs is we thought we'd try this new idea. We've kind of improvised stuff with you on streams before in a casual way. And this is still relatively casual, but we wanted to like make a, a sort of concrete effort to, like, to improvise at least three songs, if not more, from your suggestions. And give you guys an opportunity to first give us a song idea. And then while we're doing it, try to bail us out if it's going really badly with, with rhymes you think of or lines or angles that you think are funny. Like, you know, just throw out that house mouse rhyme that we could throw in. And together, maybe some of these songs will just turn out amazingly and some will turn out terribly. We've we'll been demoing out. this show with a lot of our patrons on Patreon. And in the last month, we've written songs about how great it would be to be an NPC in a video game. Mm-hmm. That was a good uh, one. We wrote a song about fighting hurricanes. Mm-hmm. Uh, what else we write songs about? About lint, like trying to collect more lint in your belly button. And so you walk around shirtless in a dusty room. Mm-hmm. So really, the weirder your, the weirder the better. Your idea is the 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 better it's going to be for a garbage song, and then we're going to take one garbage song a week, and make a video out of it. Whoa! Whoa. Wait, who turned on the light? <laughs> I think it was. Wow! Uh, it wow! Worked. It works. It we, was male. SFM. Male. We have to thank you so much because yeah. I was trying to work on this for like twenty minutes today. <laughs> I didn't think I'd gotten it to work, but male <laughs> with their super chat just turned on these disco lights. Andrew <laughs> set up, Andrew set up a yeah. bot so that anyone who super chats us also turns on disco lights in this room. So if you, if you send Game us a party. super chat, we will definitely see your suggestion for a song, and also it's going to turn on these. And if you could time that lights. with like the chorus of the, of the song. It might be hard because there's a delay. <laughs> it's very hard. Be, you know, it's like when you play a show and like right on the chorus, then like all the smoke comes out and the lights go on. Yeah, we'll but, see how it works. And, we're, and let us know what else we should. We have two of these switches, these special switches we can set up. So one is for our disco lights. If you have any good ideas how where we should set up the other switch bot, let us know. We have one yet to use. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and you know, that's that's pretty dope because I had no idea that was gonna work. Now, I see a great suggestion if we want to kick things off. About how to mail someone a turtle? About did you did you just make that? Is that your suggestion? No, <laughs> this is how to mail. That's a good suggestion. That's a suggestion. But I'm 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 already really churning about this other suggestion I got. We got that is in the news a lot. In the news of, I mean I don't know that it's like in the national like political news, but it is very much in gaming news, which is Bowsett. Have you guys heard about Bowsett? No, I saw that I got- Bowsett is a thing, and I started to click through, and I was like, "Wow, this is this is last night." I was like, "This is actually going to take me a while to understand." I'm going to sit down at my desk. Tomorrow I'm getting all I need to research. know just from the name Bowsett, right? It's Bowser's love part. It's, it's actually more know. complicated than you than you would think. That's what really? I really. But yeah, then when no, I clicked through and started looking at oh, the memes, no. I was like, "This is I'm going to have to do some." So studying. as a quick explainer, just like before we you know try to play something, just so that people who haven't heard of it know, Bowsett is. Again, this whoa, thanks. 
Thank you for the disco lights. That gets me very excited about Bowsette. Yeah, Rev. Thanks, Rev. Yeah. So there's, I think there's a new game in which Toadette, for some reason, only Toadette, let me know if this is wrong, can get an item, you know, like you would get a mushroom, uh-huh. but this item is a new one that's like a crown, like a star crown or something. And then Toadette, you know Toadette, the pink toad, mm-hmm. she turns into Peach, a character that already exists, Princess Peach. Okay. Which to me is really weird because usually when you transform, you're just becoming another version of yourself. Like it's, now, yeah. To me, it's implying it, that I'm Toadette is Mario. like a baby Peach. It's very dismissive yeah. of Toadette. It's like, yeah, Toadette sucks, and she needs yeah. this power up to become a true good character. Yeah. It's really weird, and you know, you could become a demon possessor in Mario Odyssey, like you could possess other people, but this is the first time a character is possessing another protagonist, which is really weird. So people went with it, and they made art that portrayed Bowser getting the crown and becoming like a super sexy, busty Princess Peach. That then Mario uh, gets Peach with, it, right? Or Probably. Yeah, this might have just been the memes I was seeing because it's a very widespread. I'm sure there are a lot of layers to this meme. But the the short, long story short, is just a sexy peach who is probably wearing like a villainous sort of outfit or something. And that's Bowsette. So, all right, I'll I'll kick this one off and we can take it from there. Okay, lay it on me. This song is about Bowsette, which should be Peach Owser, but Bowsette has been decided as the name. thought that Mario was the only thing that wasn't sexy now But then your mom came in the room You were looking at pictures of Bowsette and feeling aroused Oh, everything on the internet is sexy That's the number one rule You thought you were safe looking at Teletubbies but now they're sexy too. I was watching a TED talk the other day <laughs> when suddenly I had an erection. <laughs> Unexpected. I didn't expect to go there. I thought if anywhere I was safe from sexy stuff on the internet, it would be the TED talk. Section to the chorus now. Oh, everything on the internet is sexy. That's the number one rule. You thought that you could Google Teletubbies, but now Tinky Winky is sexy too. Bravo. I feel I feel good about that one, guys. <laughs> Let's try one more chorus. See if we can get harmonies on it. Okay. Two, three, doom, doom, four. Doom, doom. Everything on the internet is sexy. That's the number one rule. The number one rule. You thought you could Google Teletubbies. I feel like we really uncovered some important meme truths there. And we sort really of, did. Sort of generalized beyond the Bowsette phenomenon. Now that we sang that, you know, I really do not want to Google Tinky Winky. Who knows what could happen? Tinky Winkette. It's true, though. For every tiny community on the internet or random thing you could post, there is some person who's fetishizing it. But you, you can't browse the internet in fear of that. Otherwise, you'd be paralyzed. All the time. Uh, so we have a request for a country song, guys. And I was thinking we could go back to a song about how to mail someone a turtle. Okay. Turtles are near and dear to my heart just because one of my favorite songs we ever made together is about turtles. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I also like mailing things. So for me, it just really connects to write a song about mailing uh, Mailing turtles. Mailing seems like a great subject 
when the genre is country. Something about the genre of country music to me seems to fit well with mailing things. It's and just so down home, you know, using a physical snail mail, snail mail postal service. And mailing physical, like, you know, like unbreakable objects. Mm-hmm. Like people have mailed potatoes to each other before. And this is, by the way, this is, I, I went up through the history thanks to Pufferfish Productions for this great suggestion. Uh, I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, thanks, I, I, This makes me think about a time that I took a bunch of breakable things mm-hmm. into a post office. I took a bunch of seashells into a post office, and I'd written people's addresses on them. And I gave them to the post office lady, and she was like, I can't mail these for you. i just written people's addresses on the outside of the shell because if I mail them, they might break, and then they won't get them. And I said to her, but if you don't mail them, they definitely won't get them. And amazingly... It worked. She put them in the mail. You know that famous Wayne Gretzky, famous Gretzky quote: "A hundred percent of the shells that you don't mail do not make it there." That's I just, so true. That's the sort of logic you just don't expect to work on someone who is employed by a bureaucracy, though. Namely, obvious logic. Yeah. Now, for those of you who are just joining us, this is the inaugural stream of Garbage Songs, our Wednesday show in which we improvise songs based on your suggestions. And frankly, we'll do anything based on your suggestions. If you suggest a lyric that we should sing within the song, we'll do it. But there's one thing we haven't told you yet, which is that Garbage Songs is literal garbage that will make these songs and we'll throw them away like the trash they are. But there is a high stakes goal to this stream, which is one of these songs is going to be selected by you to become a video on our channel next week. So we have to pick, by the end of this, the best song out of this whole show. Hopefully you guys can we help get us three pick. Or four. You help us pick it, and then we're going to actually see how good we can make it. We don't have a really week. official poll set up, but we'll ask you informally at the end. You know, do you want um, Bowsette? Do you want Mailing Turtles, et cetera? Should, should we put it up on the community tab? Should we just put it up on the community oh, like, tab really yeah, fast? Yeah, we could and make an actual ma- poll. People can go to the community tab and we'll do a poll. Let us know what you'd prefer. Okay. And remember, if, if we have a song that's not going, the last one like flowed pretty well, so there weren't breaks, but if we're really struggling, bail us out with a rhyme or some line. And I'll be glancing and at the comments. Mega Zazzy, thanks for the super chat. $2.79. I'm really curious what your currency is. I feel like that's probably like... <laughs> What's that conversion rate? 100 Japanese yen or something. And yeah, as I mean, you might have Canadian noticed, guys, dollars or something. Super Zazzy's uh, super chat uh, turned on the karaoke lights. We got that set up. I'm feeling it. Okay, Andrew. Okay, la- let's Andrew, kick la- it off. Lay those country feels on me, Andrew. And we are from the South, remember. So our, our Southern accents are legit. Don't take a turtle out of its shell if you're trying to mail it. I learned that lesson the hard way. It turns out its shell protects it. Who knew? Really? Why don't you say? Well, it turns out when you take a turtle out of the shell And then you mail it, it's animal abuse Who knew? Now I'm spending ten years in the state penitentiary And I wish that someone had told me that That's why I need your rhymes. I'm not even rhyming. (laughs) I'm not solid, though. My baby girl's gone off to college Woo! Now I'm just a lonely man sitting here on the front porch I asked her to come home to visit me sometime And I sent her a turtle postcard, of course, of course. Well, there's no better way to say I love you There's no better way to say you care Than sending your loved one a reptile (laughs) If your love's beyond repair (laughs) 
<laughs> All right, this is from a suggestion to bail us out. Well, when you get a turtle in the mail, you know that gift is better than a snail. That's true. Because every time someone sent me one of those crustacean critters, well, it was dead and squished really bad. The irony of the situation is not lost on me As I sit in my solitary cell <laughs> If only I had left that turtle in Instead of trying in its shell Instead of trying to send it in the mail mm. That's that a hard way. course. That's a hard way to learn that lesson What was the course? We have a chorus. I I had, mine felt chorusy. It was like, there's no better way to say I love you. There's no better way to say you care than sending somebody a reptile if your love's beyond repair. say that in country songs anymore right now it's all about like driving the truck and i'm sipping on a hennessy oh, <laughs> don't give a fuck and i hope that you're into me driving those whiny roads with my baby now we need <laughs> oh yeah you know like now country is not that like that's good. old country now country is more like rap we really. needed more we needed more details like, I took my forever USA flag stamp and put it right on the shell, put it in the mail down on 2nd Street and Grove. That's a you, good yeah, point. That's a, that, there are different the genre types requires of country. specifics. Yeah, there, ours is more of a folk thing, and we needed to be like, I jumped in my Ford and I grabbed my turtle. The genre was lizard yeah. and the species mm -hmm. was... yeah. You, know. you you could, but I I actually think there are two kinds of country songs. There's there's the one with all the details, you know, like the rap country, and then there are the ones that are like Carrie Underwood, like it's just tender. Yeah. She has detail songs too. Uh, meanwhile, we got to scroll back up. I I had to scroll up and because I kind of missed this during the song, but NT super chat is seventy five dollars. Well, oh thanks guys. Is that seventy five NTs? Which is Maybe, like Japanese I don't yen. Know. What is an NT? What's an NT? <laughs> oh, and I got a shout out. I, I saw this earlier while we were singing. Uh, shout out to FBE, Friends of Schmo. We've been on YouTubers React, to, so shout out to them. We were just on one when we were at VidCon. Um, we were reacting to oddly satisfying videos. I was one of and my favorite YouTubers react to ever watch, let alone be a part of. I, I love the oddly satisfying corner of the internet. I love the one where we had to rank what we thought were the top 10 viewed videos that weren't Vivo. Mm -hmm. It was really, we, we did like pretty good, but it was actually really hard. Okay, we got lots of suggestions. All right, shout out a couple a, suggestions. I saw a great suggestion earlier about um, fruitcake. It's always a perennial uh, Christmas gift problem of what how do i get rid of this fruit cake but act appreciative people are re-gifting fruit cakes keeping them in the fridge and then giving them to somebody else mm -hmm. that is definitely a conundrum at the holidays uh do you want to walk them while well, michael's looking for a suggestion of do you want to walk everyone at home through what garbage songs is one more time people might be joining us late to the stream yeah people are just joining the stream welcome to the inaugural episode of garbage songs a show in which the three of us here at Shmoyoho, the gregory brothers michael evan and andrew improvise songs based on your suggestions and we'll take any other suggestions you have like specific rhymes or lines or we can talk about videos or who knows what we'll you talk can about hit us up with a whole quad train we're going to improvise a song lines here and then at the end of our show which maybe we'll go for another 10 minutes or here so let's see if we can get in two more songs okay then we'll poll the audience and we'll vote on which was the best song or the song you most desire to see become a bigger thing and then this week we're gonna go out and make a video from that song so hang in there for a couple more minutes suggest maybe two more songs that we can make up and then we'll have four to vote on does that sound pretty good yeah. yeah, let's yeah, do four it. Is good. Four is a good round number. Okay, let's spin up another one here. Okay, so we got uh, suggestions like fruitcake. We got one about a suggestion about Santa coming down the chimney. 
when the fire is actually lit. Mm -hmm. um, what do you guys think? Is it too early for Christmas songs or is it okay? Because we're just slipping it in, sneaking it in here. How awkward yeah. your childhood was is good. I do wonder what would happen to Santa if he just like, he's presumably got the power to fly around the world on any given day. He just chooses to do it on Christmas. And what if he just showed up at your house, you know, on some other day? You might have the fire lit in the fireplace. That's how that whole thing could, could go down. You know, he could be seriously injured if he just showed up and surprised you. A suggestion about people who pour the milk before they pour their cereal, which is something I've never even heard of someone doing. Oh, it's crazy. I just heard that was a thing. It sounds preposterous and sacrilegious. RJ, the bike guy, was asking uh, where Sarah is. She is, right now, she's probably like a mile away from here, right? Yeah, as we speak. At she's your like, place. yeah, over that way across the neighborhood because you may or may not know if you're a longtime fan that Sarah is the sister in law of both Michael and Andrew because she's married to me. And uh, Sarah and I have three young kids that are all under four. And uh, she's home taking care of our twins right now. But uh, in the ensuing episodes of Garbage Songs over the coming like couple of months, we'll get her in here for some of these streams. So uh, you should probably all just go like DM her on Instagram and pressure her to come on the stream. I think it's probably the and best we, thing we just to get her here. With... And probably that'd be really great for my marriage too. <laughs> We've just filmed a video with her as well where she sings the lead for a happy, sad song, if you know that series. Yep. And so uh, we have a video good. starring Sarah coming out in a couple of weeks here. Um, you guys want to try milk uh, and cereal? Milk and cereal. Yeah. Um, okay. Let's see. Here, switch, switch with me. And I'll, right. Let's see if I, I can get maybe like, let's get like a very serious uh, top 40 vibe uh, going here if we did something like along the lines of like. Yeah, let's do one for the pop charts. Yeah. Let's milk see. and cereal. Okay, let's see what we got here. Like. So start thinking of your milk and cereal rhymes, stanzas, sonnets, and send them our way. Whoa, Kalego, you say milk first, cereal later? How do you live with yourself like that? But then wouldn't the cereal, I guess it would all sink down, but some cereals are so light, it seems like, you know, they're fluffy, and they might not get, like, the proper amount of absorption. Oh, Andrew got props. <laughs> this is a first, having props for these. Okay, let's see. Some people say that they like to eat cereal Some people say that they're hungry Some people say that they like to put the milk in first That's how you know who is a psychopath If they're putting the milk in first, you know they're crazy if you put the milk in first, they got the wrong priorities. If they put the milk in first, they don't know their right from their left. True. If they put the milk in first, their intellect is totally bereft. All right, I got one. <laughs> Coming out to the second verse. Oh, my girlfriend told me. She put the milk in first Oh no, break up, man And that was the moment I knew that I had to break up with her Woo! She told me it wasn't reasonable It was trivial, how could I do that? I said, because it's the number one indicator That you are a psychopath If you put the milk in first You know they're crazy if they put the milk in first, you can't be calling them baby. If you put the milk in first, that's the number one indicator. If they put the milk in first, you better feed them to an alligator. I went over to my tender date's house the other night. Things were going great till I went to the bathroom. Went to the toilet paper roll and much to my surprise She hung the toilet paper from the back of the roll Oh no! Oh no! If they put the toilet paper on the back you know they're crazy <laughs> If they put the toilet paper on the back you know they're lazy So they won't turn it around If they put the toilet paper on the back you know 
gotta be seeing you later yeah. If, If you, you put, put the toilet paper on the back, you know Better feed them to an Alice Turn it around, we got a suggestion from Ram Inc. Productions For a verse Oh, cereal's so sad You gotta give it some milk In the right order You know it can have a happy time And it can never be spilled Cause it doesn't come out of the bowl It was blocked by the cereal And you know that's true What's another thing? We got milk and cereal We got toilet paper on the back of the roll mm -hmm. What about buttering the toast on the bottom? Is that a thing people do or is that fictional? It's um, fictional It's fictional I read it in a Dr. That's Seuss Dr. book yeah. It's not real Dude, Does anyone do that? But there, there must be some other infraction That we can take this home with Because you got to do the rule of threes in songs. You got to have three things. The most famous thing about songs. Yeah. yeah I got one. Uh, you got one? Yeah. This is another thing that really annoys me. While I went on a date the other night, you know I'm really dating a lot these days. And one thing it really ticked me off. After we had that second drink on the couch That girl, she went and she chopped my head off I hate when that happens yeah. If they chop your head off, you know that they're crazy You know it's true If they chop your head off, no, you can't be calling them baby No way If they chop your head off, I think that your relationship isn't going anywhere If they chop your head off, you got to say, baby. I'll stay here and you go over there, away from me. Thank you, guys. Thanks for the help. Sorry Thanks. for that mediocre oh. ending. <laughs> I feel so, pretty good about I feel pretty good about that one. We learned a little bit about milk and cereal there, but I feel like we mostly learned about relationships. Yeah. Which is I think a really nice angle on this show. People didn't know that they were going to get relationship advice when they tuned in. Yep. And the three things we can't tolerate, the the milk first in the cereal bowl, the toilet paper on the back, and the chopping heads off. I know that Three little peccadillos. I know that the character whose perspective we were seeing from was fictional, but I feel like I have to come clean with you guys about something. You've chopped someone's head off? Close. It's the second worst thing in the song, which is just in the last three or four years, I've switched from being a toilet paper in front guy to a toilet paper in back person. Oh, but, why? But, this is a big but, only in my specific bathroom. Like in any normal bathroom, of course it should be in the front. But my specific bathroom is so small that you need like all the room you can. So it's like better to pull it off the back, and you're like already like right up against the wall. You must have a really. But like big here in butt. the office, obviously, if I'm replacing the toilet paper, I'd put it on front. Wow. Okay. Was, but I feel like when I when I made that decision, when I was like, I'm going to start putting the toilet paper on the back. For me, it was a moment where I was like, Wow, people change. can change. Wow. It's possible. Well, you can yeah. change. I was going to say that's TMI, but it's really like about the right amount of information because now I know that you're a psychopath. Right. Now you can protect yourself and your family. Okay, Michael, let's see if we can uh, sneak one in here before we okay. uh, call it so a garbage we're song. We're going to do one more garbage song, so hit us with those suggestions. We got a comment, use a bidet. That's probably about Andrew's uh, toilet paper habits, not, not a suggestion. It's a good suggestion, too, mm -hmm. but since we have a lot of bathroom material on this one. Yeah. Peeing in the shower. Also bathroom-oriented. Okay, bathroom-oriented. Sure. Um, okay. Uh, I saw a suggestion oh, for Shmoyoho Diss Track. Shmoyoho Diss Track, mm -hmm. where we call out a musical YouTuber. Uh, Kermit the Dog. This sounds like a Morkel parody. Um, <laughs> raccoon dinners. Now, is that like a dinner made of raccoons or what a raccoon dines upon? I suppose that would be our discretion really to decide. But. We got a song about things bought on Craigslist. That has infinite possibilities, since there are infinite things you could purchase. Quick bait. That could go in an interesting direction. Yeah, I see uh, I Love Mitochondria. Sort of interesting science topic there. You know, mitochondria, yeah. of course, are uh, intracellular. 
I think I would organs. run out of run out of things I know about mitochondria within like one rounds, sentence. Yeah, within yeah. one yeah. sentence, and then I would just be making up. I think let's try a mitochondria song in which you run out of things that you know about mitochondria and you make them up. Okay. You know, a fictional science song. Can you buy mitochondria on Craigslist so you can have more? See. What if I did something on the piano here, like the key of C, maybe? Right. And if you guys could tell us things about mitochondria, feel free to have a Wikipedia tab open. Just tell us what is mitochondria, and it can be as detailed as possible, hopefully rhyming. Everybody knows mitochondria are the power of the cell. <laughs> but another fact you might not have known. Did you know there are no mitochondria in hell? <laughs> Oh, I got to pause the song just to say that, like, I thought I knew everything about my brothers, but on today's episode of Garbage Songs, I found out that Andrew has a science song voice, and I love it. Yeah! I love <laughs> learning about mitochondria. <laughs> it's going to be Andrew's side channel. It's just going to be straight facts. <laughs> mitochondria are the coolest part of a cell, oh yeah. Mitochondria are how you knew that your cells are doing well. Mitochondria just swimming around all day. Mitochondria, why don't you come out and play with me? Can somebody sell this song to Nickelodeon? <laughs> I just want mitochondria to come out of the cells, just burst right through my cell walls, jump out of my skin, and come out here and play with me. Everybody knows mitochondria are made of RNA. Did you also know if you inject it enough into someone, you can slay them? I did know that. I've done it many times. <laughs> It's the power of the amino acid It goes right to their brain And eventually breaks down the proteins That help them think about things Mitochondria are actually from a separate part of the animal kingdom And in prehistoric times they burrowed into our cells And ever since for millions and billions of years They've been inside our cells And that's how you know That they're actually unicorns Mitochondria Releases chemical energy And in the year 1903 They declared they were our mortal enemy We've been at war with mitochondria Ever since I hope it's not a nuclear war Because We'll all be disintegrated. Oh man, Andrew's flying Did over. you know that mitochondria is why George Lucas invented midichlorians? And he's not very creative, so he just made it sound the same. <laughs> midichlorians and mitochondria, what even is the difference? I'd like to think of them as basically the same except one's magic So if you see them on your SAT or ACT Make sure you fill in the bubble with the one that the, the, this song we're singing Mitochondria When, yeah, when we went to the last reasons. chorus, I almost said midichlorians. <laughs> I got myself. Yeah, mixed. you know when he when they named midichlorians, they were just making it sound like mitochondria because it's just like inside your cells. It's inside your cells. He was like, "Can we Mito call them nucleums? What if we call them <laughs> electronzanos?" Well, we have a commenter named Mitochondria Lover Twenty Three. 
Did yeah. you just do that, or did that wow. just happen to you? I think they may have been the ones that suggested mitochondria in the first place, which checks out if you look at their name, really. So, guys, let's recap. We have four amazing garbage songs today. Thanks, everyone, for you know, your suggestions, for your super chats. Post right now while you okay, Andrew, you fly over into the community tab so that everyone can toggle it. I don't Where? know if you can. Can you go over to that tab while you're watching a video and vote on the poll? We're going to find out the hard way. Yeah, we're going to find out the hard way. So, uh, let's recap. What songs did we do? In reverse order, we did mitochondria. Mitochondria are cool, right? Before yeah, that. Yeah. Wait, is, it, is it mitochondria or midichlorians? Mito, well, to call it mitochondria. Really. That's at least what we started with, right? Uh, so that's option one or four, whichever order you go into. What else, we, what else did we do? Cereal and milk, right? Milk before cereal can be the name of that song, mm-hmm. right? Uh, what else did we do? Mailing turtles. Mailing turtles. And then... The first song we did is Everything on the Internet is Sexy. Or the Bowsette song. Right, well, yeah, we, the Bowsette. The, the suggestion was Bowsette. So those are your four options. Uh, Andrew's typing up right now. Mitochondria, the first one. And then uh, Milk Before Cereal, Mailing Turtles, and Bowsette. We veered away from Bowsette, but Bowsette and her character and her philosophy were at the heart of that song, to be sure. So yeah, to recap, welcome to the inaugural episode of Garbage Songs. We're just about to wrap up our first stream. We can call this episode one. So next week, what you're going to get is a new stream, a new episode of Garbage Songs, where if you tune in live at this time, you'll be able to participate in the following week. But the result of this week's stream is going to be a music video for one of these songs, and you'll be able to see the result next week. And all of your contributions today fed into that so please join us again next week and bring your friends along so that they can be a part of making the next garbage song the next rhymes turn on the lights do everything maybe eventually we can make it so that you're so i think the the post is live now so toggle over to the community tab and make your voice heard i can even post chat i think i can chat the link yeah and just go over Um, and vote here's the link what you like we'll you know we'll wait until i don't know if there's a time limit on the poll we can um oh Thanks for your super chat, time. Mega Zazzy. Happy to say Mega Zazzy on the air when we get super chatted with these disco lights. Uh, so, you want to swap out while we're doing that? Yeah. Oh, no, I think I just broke the stream. I oh, know. We're still streaming. I thought I broke the stream. I think we're, st- I think we're still, are we still Are we still streaming? Andrew, uh, Andrew has chatted a, a link to the community We have post. the poll up right now. Maybe eventually. Yeah, I thought I broke the stream, but I didn't break the stream. That was a close one. <sighs> So, yeah, we're hoping eventually maybe we can have a poll on the live stream so that we don't all have to, like, go other places and make it confusing. Uh, For now, we have it on the community tab, or you can follow the link Andrew just posted. Fruit cakes. Fruit cakes. Fruit cakes is like a garbage... uh, the garbage dessert. Yeah, it's like a garbage food. It's fruitcake songs. It's fruitcake songs. It's fruitcake songs. You got to give it to somebody else because you don't want it to rot up on your shelf. It's fruitcake songs. It's fruitcake songs. It's fruitcake songs. You got to get rid of the fruitcake because if you try to take a bite, it'll ruin your your day it's fruitcake songs fruitcake songs it's fruitcake songs fruitcake songs bye everyone we'll, we'll see you next week same time same place